Welcome to this video tutorial with the administration phase as topic. In this video, you will learn how to create, edit, or delete a single tooth restoration or multiple single tooth restorations in the administration phase. First, we'll create a new case. To do this, click on Add New Order. A new window opens. We enter the name of the dentist and the name of the patient. These two pieces of information are all that is required to create the case. Further information is optional. We can now click on Save and Add Case. The basic procedure in the administration phase has changed with the new InLab Software 18.0. You stay in the same view throughout the entire administration phase, first selecting the indication on the left, creating it in the odontogram, and then specifying the case details on the right. When selecting the indication, no distinction is made between bridge and single tooth restoration. Instead, you create the desired restoration directly in the odontogram and define the type of indication by setting or removing connectors. We'll keep the crown anatomic pre-selection and click on the position of our single tooth restoration in the odontogram. The restoration appears immediately in the Case Details window. If necessary, you can change the anatomic design mode here. Specify the mill device, the manufacturer, the material, and, if prompted, the processing mode. Mandatory fields are marked with a blue asterisk, as well as a blue indicator on the right-hand edge. Now we'll go through this step by step. Under Mill Device, we define the machine on which the restoration is to be manufactured, and as soon as this is selected, the blue indicator disappears on the right-hand edge. Next, we specify the manufacturer of our material, and select an appropriate material from this manufacturer. In our case, this is Seltra Duo. Once all fields marked in blue have been completed, you can switch to the next phase, the scan phase, by clicking on the double arrow. As we also want to show you how to create multiple single tooth restorations, we'll stay in the administration phase and specify further restorations in the odontogram. As soon as you add an item, it appears immediately highlighted in orange in the odontogram and under case details in the window on the right. We'll add a restoration in the opposite jaw and another one in a different quadrant. All restorations selected in the odontogram in succession are automatically grouped together, and the case details can be specified for all restorations at the same time. This requires all restorations to be made from the same material and produced on the same mill device. We proceed as we did earlier with our first single tooth restoration and complete the mandatory fields from top to bottom. In this case, we select Serec Blocks CPC. The processing mode previously marked in blue is automatically defined as certain materials can only be grinded and not milled. If you wish to modify the fields for individual restorations, simply click on the restoration in question, and the restorations previously marked in orange in the group are no longer selected. You can now modify the various fields of the restoration on 4-5. After selecting the Serec Blocks PC material, a further mandatory field appears, as various grinder combinations are possible for this material. These can be specified under the Burr Instrument field. You can also delete individual or selected restorations. To do so, click on Delete. For safety reasons, you are asked, do you really want to delete the restoration? We'll click on No. You can create a new group of restorations by clicking on the restorations in question while simultaneously pressing either the Shift key or the Control key. 
In our case, we'll use this function to delete both restorations from our case details at the same time. This time we click on Yes. And now we can switch to the next phase, the scan phase. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with InLab.